I'm only reviewing the last last night figure that I have to review, and that being Slug, who's just a repaint of his Age of Extinction counterpart, but has not borne any colors for once. He looks really more movie accurate for the most part. Does have nice blue gold for the most part. The, the eye is painted red, as you can see right there. And all this does look pretty nice. The horns are made of soft plywood material, so is the jaw, and so is this part right there. I already mentioned that in my review. The articulation, the head can only move down due to the transformation, no side side movement. The jaw can open. Arms drawn ball joints, they can move outward right there. Bend rotation, I think. Or is there? I don't think there is at all. No, there's not. And if you unlock the legs, you can get them moving any direction, and then the toes can move it, and the tail can only do that right there. Just like the original one, he does come with these two soft pliable material swords that I already showed up before my original review because I didn't have the original swords. You can still, still store them in the, the dinosaur mode just by pouring them right into um, uh, there, and uh, yeah, and once you do it, it's basically a triceratops with wings. And for a comparison, here he is with his original Age of Extinction shelf, and yeah, I like this one a lot more. And for more comparisons, here he is with the Last Knight Grimlock, that's just a repaint of his Age of Extinction shelf. Here he is with the Last Knight Strafe, again, just a repaint of his Age of Extinction shelf. Here he is with the Last Knight Slash, who again is just an Age of Extinction repaint. And here he is with the Last Knight Scorn, who was pretty much just the only Dinobot that did not have an Age of Extinction repaint. Sorry if this looks sloppy, but I was running out of room getting this lineup set up right here, so here's all my Dinobots from the Last Knight. Now there's nothing new with the transformation. All you do is just fold the dino toes in right here, untab this, just move this tail right there down, then just fold the legs right there, do the same thing on this one, just fold that in, just fold the toe out right there, untab these parts, and untab the dino head, if I can, just split it all apart right there, then just fold out the hands, there's a problem I have with the hands, just, I'll get to it later on, just close that back up, take this, there's a little tab there, no, no a slot right there, and a tab right there on the leg, they'll just tab right into there you can see it just tabs right into there okay got them tabbed in again just fold this hand out close this back together like so for the dino head you just want to move these two panels in this one's a little bit loose on mine just move the dino heads down hold up the head and there we go i think we're done again this is pretty much just an age of extinction repaint just a lot more movie accurate colors so let's take on the head score again this is basically just an age of extinction repaint and here he is with that original Age of Extinction one, and yeah, I still like the Last Night one. The head sculpts are the same exact thing as you can see, just the Last Night one looks a lot more accurate and does have a lot more gold and Autobot symbol right there on his chest, as you can see, whereas the original Age of Extinction one does not have that at all. One thing I don't like about the Last Night one that I do like more on the, the original Age of Extinction one is that the Last Night one has black hands. I don't like that. I much prefer the gray ones, and unfortunately, you can't swap them out because they're pinned in. As you can see, the, the from the legs down, it is pretty much the same. As well as the sides and the backs of these two figures. He can still hold the swords pretty nicely. They just fit right into those 5 millimeter pegs. They just fit in there nicely, as you can see. And he can hold them pretty nicely for the most part. I think he's standing about 5.5 inches tall, maybe 4.5 inches tall. And for some comparisons, here he's with the Last Knight Grimlock. Here he is with the Last Knight Strafe. Here he is with the Last Knight Voyager Class Scorn. Here he is with the Last Knight Slash. And here's all the Last Knight Dinobots right there. Here he is with the Last Knight Voyager Class Megatron. Here he is with the Last Knight Barricade. The Last Knight Berserker. Here he is with the Last Knight Squeaks. Last Knight Drift. Here he is with the Last Knight Crosshairs. The Last Knight Voyager Class Hound. The Last Knight Deluxe Class Hot Rod. The Last Knight Voyager Class Optimus Prime. And for one more comparison, here's with the Last Knight Bumblebee, the Wave 3 version that's actually a new mold. Now time to go over the articulation. Heads on a pole joints look side to side, some looks up and down, some. Arms can move a full 360 on ball joints. I don't know if they do. Move outward, bicep rotation at the elbow, elbow bent. All you get at the wrist is the transformation joint right there. You also do get a waist rotation right there. As you can see, legs can kick forward quite a bit. Back some, if you move this out of the way right there. Hip joints can move this much outward right there, I think. They kick, wait, I already told you they kick forward. Upper thigh rotation right there. A pretty good knee bend. It's kind of double joint if you use the transformation right and all the toes can do is just move up and down and do the transformation. So that's all I have for my review on the last night slug. Goodbye.